Welcome to week two of unit seven. As we make progress through the challenge towers here, we should all now be prepared to work towards completing the second task, which is the Joy Luck Club LAT, which, as you all should remember, stands for Literary Analysis Task. When we click on this assignment, we will be brought to the directions for this task. Notice how the links to the Joy Luck Club text and an LAT exemplar are attached as resources. We will review the exemplar that I posted momentarily, but let us first go over the prompt. The prompt is telling us to write an essay that analyzes how Amy Tan's decision to begin each section of her novel with a parable, which is a simple story that teaches a lesson, creates mystery, tension, or surprise. And as a side note, keep in mind that our three class comments for our weekly discussion topic will require that students either share their own insights about the prompt and ideas about how they will respond, or any relevant and legitimate questions about how to respond to the prompt. Now, returning to the prompt itself, this is a skill that we went over before quite a few times, so we should all be familiar with what these effects are and the different ways in which they are created. For instance, an author might use foreshadowing where she repeatedly drops hints that allow readers to predict a future event. This can create mystery and tension because the reader is anticipating a particular event to occur soon, but he doesn't know when or how it will happen exactly. If you remember the beginning of Romeo and Juliet, the final line of the play's prologue, which is the very beginning of the play, tells us that this is going to happen. So mystery is created because the reader or viewer does not know exactly how the events of the story unfold to result in the demise of the two main characters, and it is something they would likely be aching to know throughout the course of the play. These are simply a few ways that different storytellers create these effects, and Amy Tan does so in her own way by starting off each section of her novel with a parable that, as you should have figured after the weekly discussion topic for week one and the weekly readings of the Joy Luck Club, parallel the conflicts that each of the characters faces. In doing so, Amy Tan creates either one of the aforementioned effects and this response is simply asking us to analyze how beginning each section of the novel with a parable as such achieves any one of those effects, the creation of mystery, or tension, or surprise. There is one more skill that this prompt addresses, and it presents us with another question to respond to, but I am purposely leaving that out for now, and the reasons for this are twofold. One, Addressing each of the questions in your introductory paragraph will likely make your intro very convoluted. And two, though there is a general structure that is prudent to follow when responding to these prompts, they don't always have to be so stringently followed. And there are a number of ways to address each individual question with respect to the organization of your intro. There'll be more on this later, but suffice it to say, we will return to this question in the video for the concluding paragraph. Before we get into citing specific examples from the parables in each character's narrative in the Joy Luck Club, we will have to provide an introductory paragraph to let the reader know what questions and topics we are addressing, which bring us to our objectives for the introductory paragraph. We will have to introduce topics, organize our ideas, and make connections and distinctions between the different topics and ideas. Let us first focus on introducing the different topics and making connections and distinctions between them. When we are introducing topics and making connections between them, we are telling the reader what different things our response will be discussing and how all of those things relate to one another. In terms of making distinctions, we can interpret that as clearly defining concepts or ideas that our response explores. With that said, how many different topics do you see in this prompt, and how do they all relate to one another, and which ones might need to be defined or explained? You can even pause the video here and make your answer to this your initial response to the weekly discussion class comments. No going ahead in the video for this though and simply typing the response that I give you. You may have answered that there were at least three topics, the author's choice, parables, and mystery, tension, or surprise. Mystery, tension, and surprise can each be considered topics in and of themselves, but for simplicity's sake, we will just categorize them as one topic. And The Joy Luck Club is the novel about which we are writing, so that can be considered a topic as well. As for how they all connect, 
we will see how I establish that in my exemplar. As for which topics might need further explanation definitions, we may want to explain what mystery, tension, and or surprise are. Now let us take a look at my exemplar to see how I introduce each topic and made connections between them to effectively organize my ideas. So in this first sentence, I introduce three topics, the Joy Luck Club, the author Amy Tan's choice, and parables. As I introduce them, I explain the connection between them. How do they relate? I make it clear that the parables begin each section of the Joy Luck Club, which is how the novel and parables relate, and Amy Tan is the one who introduces these parables, so that is a choice that she makes. In the next sentence, I introduce another topic, mystery, tension, and surprise. The phrase that I begin this sentence with, in doing so, establishes the connection between this topic and the previously mentioned topics, since I make it clear that the intended effect of the author's choice to begin each section of the story with a parable is to create mystery, tension, and or surprise. In the next sentence, I briefly define mystery, tension, and surprise by explaining what these effects do and how these effects are created. Then I provide some more explanation about the function of the parables, essentially making another distinction among topics, and I'm relating it back to the topic of mystery, tension, and surprise, as well as the explanation that I provided about mystery, tension, and surprise. The reader can essentially assume that the parables will mirror each character's conflict, and they wonder exactly how, so there is some uncertainty there, which creates mystery and tension, and the implication is that the reader might be surprised by the outcome, which is something that you can choose to specify in your own prompt. This also provides a very general answer to the question that you will elaborate on in the body paragraphs. If you would like, you can also briefly mention which parallels you will discuss and which characters' conflicts they parallel to create any, one, or all of the aforementioned effects, thereby creating further organization for your response. If you have any questions about this, you can and should certainly ask in the class comments to open up a discussion on the matter. You'll notice that certain parts of my exemplar are underlined, and that is because I generated this response from a skeleton paragraph with sentence starters, which I have sent to students who I thought might need it. You should not use the skeleton paragraph if you are already somewhat proficient with writing. Also, do not waste all of your effort simply rewording what I wrote, even if you are among those students using the skeleton. On the skeleton paragraph, in place of the underlined text are suggestions as to what type of details you can include, and they should not be the exact details and ideas that I included. You should try to emulate what I did, not what I wrote. Once more, these are all the things I did. Introduced all the topics, explain how they all related to one another, the prompt essentially tells you this, and provided explanations or definitions of the topics and their relationship to one another to provide a brief answer to the question implied in the prompt. Remember that there is a second part to the question which I intentionally did not address, as that will be addressed when we write the concluding paragraph. You can expect a video on that and the body paragraphs within the week.